it's around here. Welcome to the Affiliate Marketing Podcast. In today's episode, I want to discuss the number one rookie mistake that novice affiliate marketers make when they're first getting started. This is a mistake that I've done myself. I've seen many other people do it. And it's something that is really the difference between affiliate marketing being a, a real business that you can actually build versus not a real business, basically. That's really the the main the main difference between them. And what the mistake is, is really simple, is promoting things without building an email list. And there is an exact number and a, a real like numbers reason why that's a real problem. So when you are getting a program or a product that you wanna promote, typically you get given an affiliate link, which is a unique link that is specific to you. Now, if you were to share that link with somebody that doesn't know you, had never heard of you, and you just share it on its own, you may not get any conversion. You're not gonna get any sales necessarily because they've never even heard of you. So it's very difficult to get anything going like that. Whereas when you are building a list, building a relationship with a specific audience, and they've known you for a little while, they've been getting value from you in different ways, and they've come to know, like, and trust you, the chance of them actually clicking that link and buying because of your recommendation is much higher. It feels a lot more authentic, feels a lot better for you, it feels better for them, and it's just a much better way to actually promote something. Now, if you ever try to go and send people on the DMs on Instagram or on Messenger, just a random link or have received that flow, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. It feels yucky, it feels spammy. It's very difficult to really engage. And even though I know there's people who promote it, teach it and do it, and probably have also found success doing it. I know that long-term they probably burn out, they don't feel good about it, they quit after a while because it's not a sustainable way to operate. It doesn't feel good to, to operate that way. So. This is where you need to, instead of just spamming an affiliate link or giving out affiliate links randomly, you wanna focus on building your email list. And building that email list will then come with the territory of also building a relationship with that list. And the other thing that you need to be aware of when you're sharing an affiliate link, sometimes, yes, if somebody, for example, clicks your affiliate link, it will get tracked to you and you will get credit for it but you may not see what email bought. You may not actually see the email address. So let me explain to you how that works. When you have a sales funnel, which you're promoting, for example, I'm currently doing a virtual summit and there is a registration page where somebody signs up for free. The next page is a VIP upsell page, which is where people would buy and you may make a commission. Now, if you were to just promote my affiliate link, for example, that is okay. To, to do that if you were to send the registration page to people that are already on your list because they're already on your list and all that will happen is once they register and enter their name and email, they get added to my list, you will see it in your back office and that's all good. Now, if you were to send it to somebody, for example, and you know, even if you know them, when you send that email to them, they're not, or that link to them, when they subscribe, they're not subscribing to your list, they're subscribing to my list. So I'm the one who's the bigger winner here. And that's great for me, it's not very good for you. You want to actually have them subscribe to you first, ideally, and then when you're doing affiliate promotions, you then promote to your existing list. Now, it's not something you have to do that way, but if you wanna turn affiliate marketing into a real business, you really wanna focus on that type of a strategy. So what that means is you need a software that uh, can collect an email address, i.e. having a landing page. Mm -hmm. You wanna have an email that sends automatic emails, also known as an email autoresponder. And you wanna have a software that automates that process, including having a thank you page so you can build a relationship with your list. And also you want the email software to be able to send email broadcasts, which all of them pretty much do. In terms of what software to use and stuff like that, there is obviously lots of options. There's a lot of email autoresponder platforms out there and I've used a lot of them. I've used um, GetResponse, I've used Aweber, I've used MailChimp, I've used uh, ConvertKit, I've used Birdseed, I've used Flowdesk, I've also used some of the all-in-one platform ones, so Kajabi, uh, Zendler, System.io, and so on. Uh, and I've also used other tools when I was managing other people's platforms. So 
I've got a fair amount of experience, not huge, but I've done, I've done a fair amount of experience and research with a lot of different platforms out there. Um, I would love to cover that topic in terms of what software to use, probably in a different episode. But um, if you have anything specific for me, like specific softwares you want my feedback on, I'd love to know from you. Or if you want to get advice on what software to use, you can always book an appointment with me. You could just go to aroundfunnels.com forward slash software. In this episode, I just wanted to cover that number one rookie mistake. You want to build an email list because your email list, you can sell them over and over and over in the ensuing weeks, months, and years to come if you were to build a relationship. And that's what makes an affiliate marketing a real business versus you just promoting and then it dies off. You definitely want to build a relationship. It's the email list that makes it an actual business. And the affiliate marketing just comes hand in hand because when there is appropriate scenarios where you're doing a product review or a recommendation, or you know your ideal customer will be interested about something, you can share an affiliate link in your emails as well. Um, there is something to be um, watched for in terms of what software to use, because some softwares are not, um, they, it's actually against their terms and conditions to email affiliate links. So you can't even use them even if you wanted to. So um, I'm gonna talk about that in another episode. So stay tuned for the next one where I'm gonna talk about different softwares and where I would recommend people get started with in regards to what software to use for affiliate marketing and building an email list and so on. So I hope you get value from this episode. Thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, that's about it. I'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye.